Whoa, she comes up. Hey guys, welcome to Rage Talk, my weekly show where I hang out here at the office and talk about random things. This week we're talking about my new Ivy Park, sweating through my clothes, Gen Z trends, and the fact that I am fully vaccinated and ready to travel. You like this Ivy Park though, Sam? Woo, okay. Rosie did it, Rosie did it. Here we are. I'm so hot that I'm losing the oxygen to my brain. Okay, bright and early this morning. I'm not even sure if the sun's up. I get an email from my travel agent. The subject line is Iceland. It's dotted with over 100 volcanoes, yet is home to Europe's largest glacier. It's perched on the edge of the Arctic Circle, yet is warmed by the Gulf Stream. Iceland truly is the land of fire and ice. It's also the land of story. The interior says, do you know, did you hear the news? Iceland has opened back up for travelers who are vaccinated and your girl, fully vaccinated. Vaccinated here in Texas, <laughs> ready to live my life, ready to travel the world. And in preparation for that moment, am I wearing full Ivy Park? Yes, I am. Thank you, Rosie, for hooking it up. But I do just wanna like show you guys how absolutely uncool I am. I put this outfit on and then went to walk out the door and realized that this is sheer. So these pants are sheer, that's my skin, okay? I didn't know, but the reason that matters is if you're wearing your chonies. <laughs> I literally walked out with my chonies hanging out in the world. And then I was like, oh, okay. Okay, Bay, are, we're meant to be naked under here. That's what you wanted. You wanted a, f you just free bird, just free for all. Just let it all hang out in the wind. I just feel like you girls have different parts than I have. You're telling me you're wearing the most minuscule, thin pantaloons the world has ever known in a light color with no chonies on. That is what you are trying to tell me right now. Let me, let me give you a story in my giant puffy marshmallow look. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Fascia stretching. If you're not familiar with that, it's a really intense, very deep stretching. It feels awful, but it's so good for your body. She puts out her like, um, like the bed thing, and then she starts stretching me. Now I've worked out earlier in that morning and I'm wearing these kind of things. And she's stretching me, it's a normal thing, but I want you to understand that when I say that Kimberly's stretching me, I'm in like, yet yeah, I can't even do what she does. Like I'm in a full, things are, there are places like, am I giving birth? Maybe, I don't know, 90 minutes. She says goodbye, I send her Venmo, everything's well and good, I go, <laughs> and realize that during my workout, I have, my crotch is just, <laughs> just a circle of sweat. Just a circle of sweat in my crotch. It looks like I have bled out or I have peed my pants and this poor woman just did her freaking job. Said nothing, just, and I know she saw was like this girl has a glandular problem. Someone help her. So sorry, sorry Beyonce, but I'm gonna wear chonies with these pants. This is, this, I'm legit gonna wear this in Iceland. This is, this is made for subarctic temperatures. Do I look? I, I bet I look like real spelt in this, right? This jacket, no joke, look. Okay, first of all, let's like do some modeling. This is like, there. this goes here. <laughs> oh my God, no one's ever gonna wanna date me. It's fine, okay. <laughs> and those ads, they look so good. That's why you had to get Justin Bieber's wife because she's this big. I feel like I'm being, I'm like a little kid wearing floaties to keep me from drowning. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can do this whole thing wearing this thing. I'm about to be in a bra. <laughs> Remember this whole thing? 
Remember her? Remember when we did a line? Now my outfit looks even more insane, but at least I'm not about to pass out from um, temperature problems. But I want you to know if I see you out in the world in a crazy outfit, I'm gonna be your biggest hype squad. I'm gonna be like, yes girl, be you. My eighth grader literally wore a historical wig in his school pictures. He came to me and said, mommy, do you think it's okay if I wear a wig in my picture? And I was like, live your life, bro. <laughs> the most hilarious photo ever. It's on my refrigerator next to the other kids looking like normal humans. And then there's Jackson being himself. So if I see you out there and you got a, you, your crotch is gone in your pants, I'm just gonna be like, you do you. If you will recall, I took my own blood. <laughs> for a food sensitivity test. And I did not know that this was gonna be such an interesting topic to people, but so many people have asked me what my results are, and I will tell you because it was so shocking and has been really helpful for me. I don't know what I thought it was gonna say, but it definitely wasn't this. When you get your test results back, it breaks it down into like different sort of levels of sensitivity. The top two on that list were Pineapple, which I knew because if I eat pineapple, I feel like my throat's gonna close. And banana. Okay, y'all, that is a shocker. I have bananas or had bananas all the time. I would put them in my smoothie. I would have one after my run. I knew that there was something in my smoothie. I think I even said this to you guys, but I thought maybe it was almonds, which would be terrible because that's half my diet. It was banana. <laughs> I know. So banana, and then like right under that is like not as sensitive, but you're still sensitive to it. Chicken, <gasps> turkey, <gasps> kale, <gasps> asparagus, <gasps> and lobster. Oh, now I'm just not allowed to be a bougie person anymore. I can't have my lobster and chicken's half my diet. So this actually makes a ton of sense to me. This is why I want to do the food sensitivity test in the first place, because I feel like I eat so clean and I absolutely have fun and I like go out to dinner with the girls and I drink wine and whatever, but like I eat really clean and I still have, I'll get so much inflammation or I'll feel bloated. I'm like, what is going on? So I knew it was something. So for about two weeks, I haven't had those things in my diet and I really do feel better. I feel like, Boom, look at that. I wish I had um, fake tan on because then this would really look strong. You can't feel this, Jack, but this is like, is there an angle I could do it so that you really see this way, this way? Woo, look at her. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, divot, she's getting there. This angles, t I, I'm really upset about my outfit. Like, it's the most upset. Not upset enough to put that heat box back on, but wow, what am I wearing? I don't know. So you guys, you know what would be so fun? Let's do a giveaway. This week, all you gotta do, just like normal, give me this beautiful box, producer Lauren, thank you. Let's do, the, let's do the box so they can see. So it's a mini, what is this? A um, K Mini Plus. I think maybe you could like brew one cup at a time, but it's totally for free. Retail price of this is $789. This is this week's giveaway along with some other fun stuff that we have here. But all you have to do is take a screenshot of the show and put it on your social with hashtag Rach Talk and tell people, oh my gosh, you guys, Rach Talk's the best. She's so fun. Watch her on YouTube. Yeah, that's what we're giving away this week. Also, like, is this a thing? Brands, do you want to send us fun things and then that's what we give away to our, I don't know, unless it's a Tesla, in which case I'm going to keep that for myself. All right, you guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get a notification every time I post a new episode. And let's comment below with something fun. Let's say, oh, I know. You tell me, comment below and tell me the craziest thing you ever wore when you were a teenager because I am sure we've got some stories up in here. Okay, I had so much fun hanging out with you today. Until I see you next week, remember, I love you.